peppers. So. Sorry for a little bit of a blurry, all bundled up, getting lures from Best Pro Shop intro, but we're at the house and we are going to review them. So I picked out certain ones, obviously, because it's springtime and bass are on beds, which is the best thing a fisherman can ask for, because, you know, it's sight fishing, they're having more bass, and they're giant. So, good stuff. But first off, I want to show you this. Got it, finally. Got an electric scale. This is the one I've been aiming for. So, yeah. Awesome. So, first off, we're going to start off with my top favorite in this bag is Speed Shad. You can hop these on beds with like a little, you know, bullet weight or whatever. But sometimes I'll just you know, kind of swim them on the beds. Just skip them, skip them. That's just hammering. It's awesome. This, this is a really good bait. I really recommend this. Got Got a little, got a little jig heads. I mean, you could use jig heads for this, but I mean, you know. I usually don't always get Bass Pro tournament stuff, like tournament series like this, but um, I did, and I got tenor tubes. I got white baits because bass usually tend to like white baits or red baits during the springtime. So yeah, I just picked up one of these. Another really good bait for springtime. Lizards. They're really, really good for springtime. I said spring probably a thousand times this video, but, um, you know, I would sometimes flip these on the bank, like on the grass, on the bank, and let it go in the water, and bass would just, as soon as it hit the water, boom, just hammered it. Yeah, I call that the natural approach, that's what we always say, me and Zane, whenever we bass fish, with stuff like that, but yeah, um, receipt. to put it up with the buzzer, bites it in, oh, he bites in the three. Got me got two hooks, size three, perfect size. I don't need huge hooks, I just need these. And yeah, got two of those, because I don't have any hooks right now. That's about it. You don't need a whole lot of different lures for springtime. I, you can ask any bass fisherman that. You don't really need a lot, you just need the same ones. Because this has worked for me in the past, and one of my favorite sayings, don't fix nothing that ain't broken, so. I use this. All right. First off, we're gonna go deep sea fishing, and then after that, I don't know when I'm going bass fishing, but um, in a few days, we're going down deep sea fishing. We're gonna crush them. It's gonna be good. We're gonna go for sheephead, redfish, trout, you know, just basically all of the above. Anything we can catch, because I love fishing, apparently. Um, <laughs> but tomorrow morning, we're waking up real early to go turkey hunting, so. That should be, that should be sick. Anyways, enough talking. I'll see y'all tomorrow when I'm turkey hunting. We didn't see crap. We went out there for like three hours, three and a half hours. No signs of anything. We did, I mean, as much as we could, but that's hunting for you. But I did get one thing. I got a waterproof case for my phone, because that's what I record with. And yeah, that's gonna be awesome, because I'm gonna get some underwater release footage, some just, you know, all the underwater footage I can do. But that's gonna be exciting for the next video. Go ahead and subscribe so you know whenever I post the next video. And they're just going to keep on getting better and better. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.